My name is Mena Jimena Garcia Estrella. You can call me Jimena and I'm going to be a medical doctor. As a little disclaimer, I would like to point out that I am reading off document, but I sat down and I wrote everything from my heart, so none of it was made to look like the perfect application. I was born in San Diego but lived in Tijuana just across the border for the first third of my life before I moved to San Diego permanently. You ask where I work, but that depends on the definition that you're willing to give it. I'm currently not working because that implies getting paid. I have been part of organizations and volunteering that has not allowed me to actually get paid. I will give you a brief overview of what I've been doing this past year. I volunteered in free medical clinics at different underserved locations in Mexico as a translator between patient and practitioner. I volunteered as a tutor for K-12 grade students with hindrances in available resources for academic support, donated masks, was a part of APSA's virtual summer research program done without pay, and part of a Facebook group that delivers factual information to Spanish speakers living in San Diego about the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Volunteered and am currently hosting a series of events meant to expose underrepresented high school students to multiple healthcare careers through panels with professionals and students and became executive board for two amazing organizations for the school year, which are Intersectional Health Project San Diego and Flying Samaritans UCSD. I feel like the application is not complete with a little show off, which I don't usually do, but during the 2019 year, I did win my high school's community service award for the class cohort and won a community service award for my religious diocese. My day-to-day -day life is busy if I'm being completely honest to give an idea of how fast paced I go. I completed 71 units my first academic year which equates to two years worth of units in the quarter system. My future plans include a gap year or two before I apply to medical school where I will be doing some research and serve in underserved communities in another country. As I briefly mentioned before I am attending the University of California San Diego and am currently a second year. I would love to pursue a double major in human biology and public health slash global health. I don't know which yet because I love the intersectionality of them. Biology pertains more to life and how the body Body works while public slash global health pertains to the overall trends and health of the United States slash globe respectively. I don't like to use the word always but I did always have an interest in healthcare and STEM careers overall. I'll dive into what I mean by always. I was actually born solely because of an experimental procedure that could not save my twin sister's life. As a background it was due to twin twin transfusion syndrome but I am here and so is my mother and for that I am forever grateful. So as I grew up I always had a teddy bear that represented my twin sister and I would always sleep with it as a reminder that she was watching over me. When I was old enough to figure medicine out, it was amazing. Second, since I was maybe three or four, I would go on and on about how one day I would create a vaccine that would eradicate drug and substance abuse and end with addiction. And third, I actually found an email a few days ago that I sent my middle school teacher about what I wanted to do with my life. And according to old me, and I quote, I am proud to say that my goals and dreams are to become a chemist, physicist, engineer, doctor, technician, inventor, maybe dentist, etc. These along with my desire for the greater good and interest in the science of medicine itself, each day become much more interesting to me. I obviously want to become a doctor because I want to give back and want to help others and because the subject is inherently interesting to me, but I'm also a person who loves to be in control and take action when I know I can take it. I like to tackle hard things head on and I like to solve problems and come up with solutions. I'm also someone that likes to be really hands-on, which is why trauma surgery is one of my top interests. The biggest goal that I want to work towards is equality in the healthcare system. As much as I look up to it, I acknowledge that it is a racist system and that it works against minorities. I want change and I'm going to work for it. Well, first, work on it as an individual to be anti-racist and along with it, I will make sure that others are doing it with me. I'm going to be brutally honest about where I want to be in 5, 10, 15 years and what impact I want to make. I want to be a different person, a person who's still working for change, but a different person. As I'm constantly learning things, I will have to change as a person. So if I'm the same person in five years, those five years of learning will have gone to waste. If I'm the same person in 10 to 15 years, did I really make a change? Did I really learn anything? I'm going to answer that question for myself and for my purposes, and the answer is no. As I constantly learn about other issues, I want to become more self-aware, and that itself will domino into making positive impacts. In regards to where I want to be physically, I will be traveling to another country, hopefully matriculating into medical school in five years and in 10 to 15 years, depending on how long my journey is. I will want to work as a medical doctor in multiple underserved areas for a few years before settling in and hopefully becoming a doctor in San Diego. My inspiration, as cheesy as it sounds, is my family. I'm so lucky to say that my family has been my number one supporter through and through. Now to the fun stuff, my go-to pump up song is actually anything by Osuna. Many people judge me for it, but I love listening to music that reminds me of my life next heritage and that puts me in a good mood plus he always sends emotion across every single one of his songs and i love it it's funny that you asked me how i like my coffee because i never drink coffee but i have a coffee right next to me i just poured it out of a carton so i'm not really that strict as long as it's sweet one piece of advice that is invaluable to me is that no matter how many times people try to invalidate my feelings or my attempts i should always stay persistent and do what i love to do i'm always being judged for being extra but i really don't think that human i can go without extra in the same sentence it is who I am and it has gotten me to where I am today. Thank you.